everybody. My name is C and I'm the owner of CLM Custom Design on Etsy as well as I now have my own website www.clmcustomdesigns.com as well as this YouTube channel and this channel is about all things crafting. So welcome if you've been here before and if you're new welcome come on in and take a seat. Let's get ready to learn something today what i am going to do is to sublimate on a pair of socks so if you want to see how i make these socks stick around let's jump into the video. this sock jig from Amazon. It also came with some sublimation paper, but the sock jig has holes in it. You want to hang it up on the wall, but basically it's so that you could put your sock on top. These socks I just got from Walmart. They just need to be polyester. So these are like, uh, I think they're and one socks, but anyway, just check the package, make sure that they are polyester. We are simply going to slip the sock onto the jig so that we can have a flat surface and so that it is, you know, kind of stretched out, okay? I, um, now depending on where you want your socks, I want, I mean, depending on where you want your design, I want mine on the sides of my socks. You can do an all over design if you want to, but I want mine on the sides. So make sure that you put it on the jig in a way that it's going to give you the side of the sock that you want to have sublimated. I want to do a design on each side. So I'm just going to make sure that my heel is kind of on the center line. So that way I can be sure that I'm gonna get my designs, one on each side. The design that I have chosen is, bam, Wonder Woman. So I just printed this out from my Silhouette um, Studio software. Printed it out for, because I'm gonna do one on each side of the socks. You could have chose anything. I could have done my initials, whatever, picture, but this is what I chose. So I am going to cut it out so that they are four separate pieces. I am going to, I have my heat press heating up. Remember sublimation is 400 for 60 seconds, so that's in the works. I need to get a lint roller to lint roll my sock. Handy dandy lint roller. Yes, it's purple. But anyway, you want a lint roll to make sure that you have um, all the dust and everything off your sock. do two at a time but you can only do one side at a time so I'll do one side then I will flip it over and I will do the other side okay I'm going to and make sure my heel is in the right place let me roll this side Really, really good. Then I'm gonna get my heat tape and tape it on. So I'm gonna lower you a little bit so you can see what I am doing because I just realized you probably did not see me even lint roll because you're a little too high. So let's get down. Whoops. my sock I just basically like I said lint rolled made sure that my heel is um, on the end of the jig because remember I want my design on the sides again you can do a full wrap if you choose to um, I just am not doing that so I am 
going to cut around this design. This is a situation where you could use um, spray adhesive if you wanted to. I am just going to use heat tape. Tape mine on. You. And let me show you why trimming is important. So see, you may not be able to see, but on the very bottom of this, it has like a little ink that came off from the roller. So if I wouldn't trim that, then that would end up on my sock. So I always, when I'm sublimating, like to trim as close to the picture as I can so that I can get rid of any of those uh, lines like that. Try to measure it, make sure it's in the middle. I'm doing this pretty quick, because again, it's just for me. But if it was for a customer, I would measure just to make sure that they're both in the same location. While I am waiting for my heat press to finish heating up, I'll go ahead and turn these other two so that they will be ready to go. And then we are going to go over to the heat press and get this in. This is a fairly quick video. As I said, you just need to make sure that your socks are 100% polyester. I mean, you could use a polyester blend, but make sure it's at least, at least I would say 60% polyester. But let's go over to the heat press and get it in. Okay, we're at the heat press, so I've got these on. I've got my blowout paper because remember we always need to cover sublimation because it will get on um, whatever material it touches actually, which is always why you put something in between. And if you picked up on it, no, I did not pre-press pre these socks. However, I should have, but I didn't. So remember, you pre-press to get the moisture out, then you lint roll. I did not do that, but I should have. So here we go. I'm going to cover them with the butcher paper. Let's loosen it a little bit. Okay. 60 seconds. Okay. You may or may not be able to see that there's a faint image on the paper, which is why we cover it. So now we are going to flip it over. To, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to wait to take it off until I do the other side. Again, just going to do it a quick lint row. Obviously, this side is pre pressed, right? We are going to put these one here. I'm going to tape it down. You may think, why do you have to tape it down? Because it's flat and the press is flat. But when the press pops open, it will move these papers. And once they shift, because they're still hot, they'll have ink on it. And then they'll have a tendency to um, what we call ghost or have another mark um, wherever it popped. So that's why you want to tape them down. You also want to be very careful because that metal is super, super hot. So you want to be careful not to even accidentally put your hands on that because 
you will get burnt. So use your gloves and then you won't have to worry about that. But you know, I'm hard headed. And these hands are like steel. They've been burnt so many times. Let's get a get a clean piece of butcher paper because again that blowout if I were to use that same paper the ink that blew out the first time will get on the socks okay we are done so now we can take it off Let's flip it over. Take this off. Hot, 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 Get my heat glove because it's hot to be picking up. Came out beautiful though. See that? Nice. The second one is looks this is good. I could have put a name under there if I wanted to or Whatever, but this was good enough for me. I'm gonna slide it off the jig, let the jig cool off. All righty, all righty, all righty. Here you go. There is Miss Afro Wonder Woman. And so I think these are the cutest things ever. Like I said, you could do a full design if you wanted to that wrapped all the way around um, to both sides of the socks if you chose to. But this is gonna be fine for me. I'm gonna slide them on and let you see what they look like right on. Let's see. They are super cute. I know, this is a crazy angle, but anyway. Yep. I am happy, happy, happy. Cute, cute, cute. So, yeah. There you have it. Sublimation socks. So, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Please share this video with anyone else you think would appreciate the things that I do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that drops on my channel, which I have weekly drops. So, therefore, until we meet again, guys, take care. Oh, don't forget to hit me up on Etsy or on my website to order any of your merch. Bye.